Welcome back. Joining us now is the author of The Mockingbirds, a story about a teen girl's struggle to stand up for herself. Please welcome Daisy Whitney. So tell me a little bit more about this teen girl who's standing up for herself. Well, The Mockingbirds is a story of an underground student-run justice system at a prestigious boarding school. So it's basically a secret society of students that takes it upon themselves to police, prosecute, and protect each other. And uh, it's about the cases that they try with other students. It's kind of like the accused meets dead poet society. Okay, how'd you come up with that idea? Well, basically, the Mockingbirds take their inspiration from Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird, oh. which I see as sort of the ultimate story of justice and doing the right thing. And the promise is that at this fictional boarding school, the administration kind of looks the other way, thinks all the students are perfect, they think that there can't be any date rape or hate speech or bullying, the things that unfortunately really do happen in teenagers' lives. So the students decide, you know what, we're not okay with those things happening to each other and to ourselves, so even if the administration teachers won't do anything about it, we can help each other. So who is the book geared toward? Is it geared toward young girls and boys? Well, as I like to say, it's great for teenagers and anyone with $17 to buy it. <laughs> and the market really is. The market really is teen girls. But a lot of times, uh, you know, women, adults, are reading teen novels as well. I mean, Twilight obviously, you know, set up a whole trend uh, with adults getting turned on to teen lit as well. Pretty Little Liars, Hunger Games, all kind of followed in that vein. And those are teen novels that are really popular with adults as well. So I hope everyone likes it. <laughs> Okay, how did you do research? Did you hang out at some high schools and see how teens act toward one another? I just sort of channeled 20 years ago, back when I was a teenager. <laughs> oh, it is so different now, though. It is really different, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to write this, because I think it's so much harder to be a teen today. Your life is always on. You're online. Everybody knows everything, and yet I still wanted to show that even in this type of environment, you know, students can look out for each other, teenagers can still uh, do the right thing and help each other and speak up. And I think in today's culture, where we're hearing about these you know, sad stories of students bullying each other and unfortunately suicides that are happening, I think it's, it's a great message for teenagers that you know, they, they really do have it within themselves to be good and do good, not just for themselves, but for their friends as well. So you don't have any crazy teenagers in here? <laughs> no. I, well, if you're good guys and bad guys, good but guys, I think by guys. and large, uh, it's a positive portrayal of smart and ethical uh, teenagers. And secret boyfriend. Oh, well, of course there has to be a romance in there. Even in an edgy <laughs> novel, one that deals with some issues, you need to get a romance in there. Because, you know, girls, women, we like to have that in our stories. I, hello, right? har Harlequin romance. I'm all over that. <laughs> exactly. So what's next for Daisy Whitney? You've done Mockingbirds. Are you going to do something else that gears towards students? or? Well, I actually wrote a sequel to it. A little Brown's my publisher, and uh, I'm writing two books for them so far. So I have a sequel that will come out next year at the same time in fall of 2011. Uh, and then I've uh, finished finishing up a book right now also for teens and hopefully we'll sell it in January. Because I have to ask, you want to write a book, you just started writing? Yeah, I've, I've been a reporter, that's why I have a day job as well, uh, and, uh, and so I've been writing for my entire career, uh, but yeah, I basically, it's, I think at some point everyone sort of considers the idea of writing a novel, and I just said, okay, now it's time. I wrote three unpublished novels beforehand, so uh, for anyone out there that, that thinks you always get it right the first time, no, you don't always get it right the first time. I have lots of unpublished pages, uh, but then I, I got it right with this one, I think. So did you know you got it right this time? I did. Did something I, internal say, you know, I, I, this one feels good. Yeah, you kind of know that. It's that little voice inside of you. And interestingly enough, the first three novels I had written uh, were a little bit more in the chiclet vein, kind of commercial women's fiction, more for women my age. And I found that when I when I changed genres and started writing for teenagers, I, I found sort of more authenticity. And I kind of knew when I was writing, like, I think I finally am onto something. <laughs> well, Mockingbird, some schools have honor codes, other have handbooks. The Miss Academy has the Mockingbirds. Uh, <laughs> they're ominous uh, tagline for the book. Wow, Mockingbirds. Okay, thank you for joining us today, Daisy. The Mockingbirds is available online and in local bookstores. To find out more, you can check out daisywhitneybooks.com or facebook.com slash mockingbirdsbook. We'll be right back.